All right, appreciate everybody being here, um, but not really being here. Zoom is a beautiful thing. Um, but, uh, no, I thought it was a good first scrimmage. You know, it's the earliest that, that I've had a team in spring practice, you know, scrimmage, uh, you know, getting out there for pr pr uh, practice five. You know, I thought it was a uh, good opportunity for, for guys to see you exactly, you know, where they are with, you know, no coaches, no extra assistance, um, you know, having to go out there and communicate, operate, um, you know, understand the play that you have, but also, you know, the, the details and the fundamentals. And, uh, you know, for the most part, I thought the guys did a really good job of, of understanding the play. Um, you know, being a, it, was, it was definitely, you know, uh, you know, I thought it was a lot better than what I really expected, um, you know, in the, in the understanding of what to do. We've got to continue to improve on how to do it. And the techniques and the fundamentals, uh, some things with our footwork, with our eyes, uh, you know, those are all things that, that get an opportunity to go and get better. But, uh, you know, I thought there was you know, really good plays. I thought the defense, um, you know, was, was really good. You know, for the majority of the scrimmage, um, you know, I thought there was some, uh, some some speed and physicality that definitely showed up. You know, some impactful plays. Uh, you created a couple fumbles. Uh, you were able to, uh, um, to, to to see the the talent and ability that, that I believe we have on that side of the ball. And uh, you know, I thought the offense did a good job of responding. Uh, we had some missed opportunities. Um, you know, some you know, definitely some uh, some throws we'd like to have back. Uh, but you know, also you know, there were some missed opportunities. To finish a play and, and didn't, and uh, uh, but then you know there were some, there were some explosive moments. Uh, you know, you know Malik Benson had a touchdown. You know Cam Davis had a, had a touchdown. Some, some, some guys that uh, you know, definitely uh, you showed up. Um, you know and had, had some explosive plays. So uh, I like what I'm seeing. I thought the newcomers you know, did a good job. You know, Landon, Landon Thomas showed up. Um, you know did some really good things. Uh, you know Jalen Lucas you know got in space uh, I think a couple times. Um, you know. Really, just uh, I thought it was a, a good overall work day, uh, you know, for our guys and uh, and what we needed to do for scrimmage one. So, with that I'll take questions. First question is going to come from Tommy Myers. Hey, coach. Um, with with spring practice and like in like all the construction going on, have there been any challenges through scrimmage? Um, or, 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 or through the practice, like, have you noticed any challenges, like with with all the construction going on? Um, no, I mean there was, you know, obviously there's just different elements of, but we had plenty of space and, uh, you know, I guess distractions with just with construction going on. But um, you know, ultimately, it was still it was good to be able to get in the stadium and, uh, you know, for guys to be able to to get work um, you know, out there on the field. Hey, Mike, was wondering how much did you guys mix and match on the offensive line on the day and just in general, how did that group hold up? No, I mean, I thought they uh, did some good things. You know, there was, we tried to mix, you know, quite a bit and, uh, you know, roll different personnel groupings, uh, you know, with the with the five. Uh, and that's something we try to do, you know, regardless, you know, just throughout the uh, uh, spring practice. I mean, you're going to see that, um, you know, quite a bit. But, uh, um, you know, I thought they did, uh, did a solid job. You know, some some – you know, some plays that you know, obviously we got to be a lot, lot cleaner just in our in our communication. Um, but uh, you know, I thought there, you know, for the most part, there was a it was a solid performance. You know, with uh, obviously all the quarterbacks have looked good so far this spring, but um, DJ having so much experience, did that kind of give him? Was that obvious going in the stadium, or did Brock? Kind of have that too, since he's played in, in yeah. some games as well. Well, I mean, you know, you still look at, you know, Brock has does have a year within the system, and you know, there's, uh, you know, I, I would say that you know, even right now, Brock has probably a little bit more confidence, maybe in you know some of the things that he's being asked to do, because um, we've thrown a lot in, in the installations in the first you know four days. Um, you know, I think DJ's done really well in grasping that. I think he's done really well, um, you know, in and uh, you. Know, his overall understanding, but now it's just a repetition. And he needed a day like today. And there were some really good moments. There were some, you know, some plays where you know, kind of, uh, I'd say, resorted back to, you know, maybe not the cleanest in his footwork or in his fundamentals. But like that's what today's all about. It's to, uh, to because they've been good. I mean, they've been really good those first four days. And uh, I thought Brock had some good moments. He had some challenge times. I tell you, you know, I thought Luke was. For our first scrimmage, I thought Luke was outstanding. Um, you know, we we really gave him, um, you know, that that you know, his last couple of drives, and we tried to put it in his hand, let him kind of have to move the ball down the field. And I I saw it as he 
as he got into the scrimmage, you know, I thought he really did a nice job of, uh, of being able to go and execute. So it was it was good for all those guys to have positive moments. But then, you know, there was there was definitely some plays and, and things that we got to clean up when it comes to just you know the, the the finer details, and and that will definitely that will definitely come with with more repetition. Hey Mike, you, you talked about the, uh, the the plays on defense. I guess what role did uh, the defensive line have in maybe affecting the quarterbacks, affecting some of those throws you said they, they probably want back? Yeah, well, you know, I mean, I think you, you got guys, you know, you know, I know Pat had a had an early sack. Um, you saw, you know, Daryl Jackson definitely flashed. Uh, you saw Marvin Jones, you know, um, you know, uh, Sione, um, Tommy. I mean, all the, all those guys. You know, I thought had had good moments. You know, Byron Turner. You know, showed up. Um, it, it's and it's a mix. It's not just in the passing game, but I'm I'm looking for you know, the impact in the run game. Um, you know, being able to create penetration. Um, you know, there were some there were some plays that that got out on us. And you know, I think the, the technique and fundamental uh, you know, elements of of uh, you know what we're doing to make sure we're keeping our eyes where they need to be. Um, you know, will we'll be big and be a big correction coming off of uh, off of this this practice. But um, you know, I thought I thought the defensive front uh, you did, did a really solid job. You always talk about how you like seeing how newcomers, especially freshmen, respond that first time in Doak. How did that group beyond Luke? Who you already talk about. How did they handle it? I thought they did good. Um, you know, you got Luane McCoy made a couple of really nice plays. I mentioned Landon, you know, Cam Davis, uh, you know, looked like he definitely belonged out there. Um, you know, he was rolling with all, all the different groups. Um, you know, had a couple of real explosive plays. So, um, you know, I thought that was that was definitely good to see, um, you know, defensively. Uh, you know, definitely some flashes, um, you know, for, from, from guys there, you know, uh, not only in the defensive backfield, uh, but, uh, you know, you know, also just, you know, throughout the defense. I thought for those, those young linebackers, you know, for them to be able to get that speed work was good, um, and you know we'll, we'll get a chance to watch the film and, and really get a better better sense of you know what that looked like. Uh, Ira, we, nobody can hear you, but we see your let your mouth. Yeah. First, uh, first scrimmage of the spring. Sorry. Did coach. you do that on purpose? No, I wish I could say I did. That would have no. been really uh, cool if you did. <laughs> Malik, uh, Malik has been a guy that you've talked up off the field and, and in a lot of different ways. Um, you know, just has he been everything you guys hoped he would be, or or even more? No, I mean, you know, we had big expectations. Um, you know, with, when when he came in, um, you know, it was somebody that we knew too. You know, in, in the previous part of the of recruitment, uh, you know, just a sense of of who he is, the the talent and ability that he had. Um, you know, he did play you know a good amount. Maybe he didn't have the, you know, the catch production. But uh, you know, when you see talent and ability, you know, I felt that um, it was something that we could continue to help you know him and you know. You know, provide opportunities to, to showcase that in a, in, a, in a variety of ways, and you know he hasn't disappointed in, in any of those things. But uh, you know I'm, I'm excited about that group. I think our receiver group, you know, they could definitely run. Um, you know there were some you know there were some big plays that they had out there, and um, you know I think he's he's definitely you know going to be a part of, of uh, a lot of different things that we can do. And um, you know his speed, athletic ability. Um, you know he scored you know he scored a touchdown on a you know really a short pass where he showcased his. You your, your running ability after the catch, which which I was really really pleased to see. Uh, Coach, with it being such an early scrimmage in the practice schedule, did you still have referees out there? And if yes, why? How do you think your team did with uh, overall penalties? Yeah, you know we had ACC officials, and that was uh, you know we've been had a, having a big focus on cleaning up you know our hand placement and you know trying to trying to do the best job possible of. Uh, uh, you know, eliminating um, you know any potential penalties, and and there were a few that showed up today, and it was you know as technique, as fundamentals, you know, things that you got to continue to work and develop. Uh, but there, it wasn't uh, you know I would say excessively sloppy. There were a few you know focus penalties or a few you know things that showed up, but uh, you know for you know, sometimes you know, new new guys coming in and you know di experiencing uh, different things. I thought they handled themselves pretty well, and. Um, you know, you know, obviously areas for improvement, but I thought they I thought they did a nice job. 
you mentioned a couple fumbles, if I recall correctly. Was it a good example of guys jarring the ball loose, or was it bad ball security? I know it's always kind of a catch-22 with practice when it comes to those things. Yeah, no, I mean, it was a uh, – first to start off with, you know, aggressiveness to the ball. And that's something that, you know, for us defense, like, you know, we've been we've been emphasizing as much as, as we, we probably ever have just uh, and, and try to incorporate that in all drills. You're trying to create more opportunities and you see that showing up. And, you know, we were able to to get a couple balls out, um, you know, which was was definitely good to see. And, you know, I think, you know, even even in times where the ball doesn't come out, you know, we're coaching the ball security element of it on offensively. We want it to be better. It's something we take a lot of pride in, um, and so you know, an opportunity for for offensive guys to to grow, you know, coming out of the scrimmage. Uh, last one, going to come from Kurt. What, what did you see? I guess from from the the linebacker group, it seems like a guy a group with a, a lot of guys with with something to prove this spring. And I guess we've talked a lot about the quarterbacks handling the headsets, but those guys, a lot of them are wearing headsets too. How is that working for them so far? Well, you know, I mean, I thought uh, DJ Lundy looked like you know we need him to look. I mean, he was he was flying all over the field, saw physical plays. You know, he was uh, um, you know working in his communication. Um, you know, I'm excited about about that group. You know, um, I think you look at that next group of guys that are trying to really uh, emerge and, and put themselves in position, whether it's, uh, you know, Blake Nicholson, uh, you know, Justin Cryer, you know, Sean Murphy. I mean, and then, you know, some of those, you know, new, the, the younger guys, whether it's uh, DeMarco Ward or, you know, you know, uh, you know obviously, you know, Jaden and Tymere. I mean, that's a, that's a fun group to, to, to see compete because they are talented. They, they have ability. They can run. Um, you know, it's just the, the finer details of the communication that, you know, keeping their eyes where they're supposed, supposed to be. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, that group has been one of the, you know, I would say the, the pleasant surprises for me throughout, you know, these um, early practices because, you, you know, their fits are – they're good with their fits. They're good with the communication. They're still working on, on some of the elements of the coverages, uh, but that can all be expected. They're early, and uh, but you know I would say that you know their progression is um, you're probably a little further ahead of where you know I might have even expected you know of, of where they are, and you know, I'm excited about what that group's going to continue to develop to be. All right, thank you, coach. Thank you, guys. Thanks, coach.